Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Marnie and today I'll be showing you how to set up, upload, and deliver client galleries through PickTime. I'll be taking you through the exact steps that I go through when delivering a gallery to my client through PickTime. All right, let's get into it. Once you are completely finished with all of your final edits in Lightroom, you will go into, you want to make, first you want to make sure you have the PickTime plugin installed. If you do not have the PickTime plugin installed, you can go into PickTime, you'll go to settings, You'll want to go to integrations, to Lightroom, you'll download the Lightroom plugin. Once you click download the Lightroom plugin, it will download to your computer in your downloads right here. I think you'll double click it and it will bring you here and you will click import. So this means you are importing the PicTime plugin so that you're able to upload your galleries right from Lightroom directly into pick time and if you don't know what that means i'll be showing you step by step once you download the plugin it will import into the publish services right here and you'll go to publishing manager you'll want to click add to add the plugin and it'll come right up as pick time and then you'll want to um, log into your account. So log into your PickTime account here. You'll click log in. It'll sync up with everything, all of your settings that you have saved for your galleries. And then once you're ready to deliver that um, gallery to the client, so pretend that this is my finished gallery. I have eight photos. I've done all my final edits on them. First thing I want to do is I want to right click the PickTime, click create project, and I am going to do family gallery. I go down to my settings down here and on, I go down to preferences and I can create a new preference. So right here, I'm going to say test for YouTube video. Okay. And then that will bring me to the project template and I will set that up. I'll go, okay, this one looks really pretty. I'm going to choose this one boom, got it. So that is the default setting for all of the galleries I'm going to upload. And then I can go back. Perfect. So as it's a project template, when I go back into here and I create a project and I do Johnson family gallery and I click project template test for YouTube video. So the exact settings that I had listed here will now show up for this gallery. And then you can type in the scene name. So if I wanted to do trees, add scene, and I wanted to say field, these different scenes will now show up in the gallery within PickTime. Johnson Family Gallery, I'm going to go into scenes and now I can do this. I'm gonna say, okay, this was, this was the, the tree one and I can right click add selected photos, and then I can go here, and I'm gonna say, okay, these are the field photos, add selected photos, and then I'll go here, publish, and it gives you a nice setting that says your gallery is publishing. I can go go to pick time. It's going to show me Johnson Family Gallery, beautiful, with the photos that are uploading. It gives me the status bar of the photos, and it says trees and field. Okay, perfect, that's great. I have those uploading. And once the photos are done uploading, I can go into the share tab within Johnson Family Gallery. As you can see, all their photos will have been uploaded. I can go share, I'll type in Miss Johnson. I'll type in her email, johnson at gmail.com. I'll send it to the client. Okay, if you go back to your settings and you go to your email packages, you can actually write a custom email package. So this means, Every time your gallery is ready to be sent out to your client, you can click into one of the default package or one of the email package um, emails that's already been set up. And so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do family and say, when gallery is ready, I can customize this and go edit the message here and say, hi, blank. So this means that I will fill this in with the last name of the or the first name of like the mom's family. When the gallery is ready and I'll say, hi, your gallery is ready for you to view. Please let me know if you have any questions. 
Now, obviously, thanks, Marty. Obviously, I would write a lot more to that, but for the sake of time, just an example. Okay, and then if I go back into the Johnson Family Gallery, I'll be able to go into um, the share once I have her her um, her name and email. I can send it to client and look what this is, family. And then boom, there's already the already generated message that I've set in my settings to be the same message that I send to everyone. So I'll take out these lines and I'll say, hi, Miss Johnson. And then I'll click send email and that's it. And the gallery goes right to the client.